Hello, my name is Tomasz Jaszek, and in this video I will present solutions to the Jurassic Code challenge powered by Codility. In this challenge we have n points on a plane, each point is either red or green. We want to calculate what is the maximum number of points that can lie in a circle centered in the center of the coordinate system, provided that the number of red and green points in the circle is equal. Let's analyze the first test example. Here we represent red points as dots and green points as crosses. We can consider different circles centered in the center of the coordinate system. So they will differ only in the radius. Since no point lies on the center of the coordinate system, it's always possible to draw a small circle that contains no points. Therefore, the number of dots and crosses is the same. We can draw a bigger circle that contains one cross but this circle is not valid since the number of dots in the circle is zero and is not equal to the number of crosses. But if we enlarge it even more, we can enclose a dot in the circle and this will be a valid circle containing two points. Since there are no additional crosses outside the circle, this will be the circle that gives us the maximal answer. Two points. So the idea for the algorithm could be check all candidates for a circle and for each candidate calculate how many red and green points are inside and if these numbers are equal the candidate is correct and we update the answer. But there is a problem with this algorithm. There are infinitely many circles. Fortunately we need to check only finite number of them. Observe that if on our candidate circle there are no points on its border, then we can start shrinking it until its border hits some point. Now it's easy to see that both of these circles contain the exact same number of green and red points inside. Therefore we only need to check circles with radii equal to the distance from the center of the coordinate system to some point. If the point has coordinates x, y, the resulting radius will be equal to square root of x squared plus y squared. So now we need to check n candidates for radius and for each candidate we need to iterate over all points to count which of them are inside the circle. Therefore the whole algorithm will run in n square time. To check if the point is inside is enough to calculate its distance from the center and check if it's not greater than the radius. Since we are not interested in the exact values of the distances but we are only comparing them, it's better to compare their squares to avoid precision problems when calculating square roots. Now we are ready to make an implementation. First let n to be the number of points and let's initialize answer with 0 for the case of the very small circle. Next let's iterate over all points and the squared radius of the uh, candidate circle will be just a distance of this point from the center of the coordinate system. Now we will once more iterate over all points and calculate the number of points inside the circle and the number of red points inside the circle. The pointer is in the circle if it's squared distance from the center it's smaller or equal to the squared radius of the circle. If that's the case we update the number of all points and we update the number of red points if the jade point is red. After the loop we check if the number of red points is exactly half the number of all points inside the circle and if that's the case we update the answer. At the end we just return the answer. Okay, so let's uh, run this code on the test cases. 
it passes them correctly. But since the time complexity of this algorithm is n squared and n can be up to 10 to the power of 5, this code will not get full score on performance. The problem with this code is that for every candidate circle, we iterate over all points. But all points which are inside the given circle generate circles with smaller radii. Therefore, we can analyze all the points in the increasing order of their distances from the center. And if we keep the running number of all and red points, we will be only updating one point at a time. Therefore, after initial sorting of all the points based on their distances, which will take n log n time, the rest of the algorithm will be just linear. So let's see what we need to change in the implementation. First, we will need an array in which we will put all the points. For each point, we will put a pair with the squared distance of this point and the boolean variable saying if this point is red or not. At the end, we'll sort all the points. Next, we'll iterate over all points. And now we assume that the squared radius of the circle is given by the ith element of the table. We increase the number of all points, and if we increase the number of red points, if the point we are considering is really red. After adding each point, we need to see if we get a valid circle, so the number of red points is the half of the number of all points in the circle. However, if we run the above code, we will get a wrong answer on the last test example. That is because we have a small bug in our code. We are incorrectly handling the case when multiple points have the same distance from the center. In this case, we cannot add these points one by one. We need to add all of them at once. Therefore, we either need to rewrite our loop or not check the validity of the circle if there are still more points in the table with the same distance. Here, we will use the second approach. We'll check the validity either if our point is the last one in the table or the distance of our point is different than the distance of the next point in the table. This way we will correct our code and it will get full points when checked by Codility server.